I believe that every generation of Christians since the beginning, you know, since Christ, uh, we've lived with a certain cultural context. For Paul, it was the Roman Empire. For, uh, for uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, it was the rise of the Nazis. Uh, for house churches in China, it's communism. For us in the West, the cultural context we live in is a media-driven culture. Today, media is the most powerful force on the planet. It's, it's stronger than the American military, Russian, Chinese, British, doesn't matter. Media drives the culture. And so I think the church needs to recognize that first and then start learning to embrace that. Because if we're really going to impact the culture in a positive way, media has to be a part of that mix. So in the case of Facebook, Facebook by population now is the largest country on the, on the planet. So are churches sending missionaries to that country? Are we planning churches in that country? I think we need to have a strategic look and how we're going to impact that country with the gospel because it's the big it's the country of the future. And so I, I think that until we really learn to understand the power of media and embrace it in a positive way, we're never going to make a real dent in the culture because everything, there's a phrase that we have in the States that uh, he who controls the narrative controls the culture, which means whoever's controlling the story in the media controls the culture. And it's so true, and Christians need to be at that table so we have a voice in that conversation.